Okay, so you have been given a sequence that you're trying to say, which is from the gene B15R, and that you have the obtained sequence from the database, okay? You have the start and stop colon marked. So this sequence is from the VR strain of vaccine virus, but you are more interested in the second strain of vaccine, which is called MVA. So we have a genomic DNA samples of both virus strains. I decided to use a PCR to find out if BFBR, B15R exists in MVA strain of the virus. So what it happens is that so we want to we want to obtain the primers, and after you, after we obtain the primers, we want to amplify to see whether that would specifically amplify it. DNA fragment exists in the MVA strain. So, but this is from B15R, okay? So you want to get the primer. If the primer is similar, if the primer amplifies and matches, then it means we'll have a specific we'll have that specific DNA um, exists in the MVA strain as well. So let's so with the question A, which is asking us to um, amplify. So what we're gonna do is just so you wanna first find a primer five five end to five end um, to tree end. So I've done a two previous example before. So please pause here and give it a video go before I actually do it and do it. Otherwise, I'm going to start it now. But it's very easy, similar to that. You want to make sure that it is in the five end to tree end. It's like similar, both forward and reverse strand. So it means you can literally pick anything between around 20 nucleotides or 21, 22, doesn't really matter as long as you keep the temperature to be between 55 to 65. So, okay, so TM must be between 55 to 65 Celsius, both reverse and forward to give us the best known error on PCR. Although keep in mind that you getting error in the, in the, in the PCR is inevitable. Okay. So yeah, but I'm going to start here. I'm going to do the forward primer like that okay you could go from here to there you could go from he here to there it doesn't matter okay i mean as long as you have this atg being formed and we're going to have the coding sequence here it's okay and here what i'm going to do is just i'm going to start again you could do from here to here doesn't matter i'm going to start from here to here okay so let me write it um, so, so it's the key point here. I just want you to note that if you're going with 21 nucleotides here as a forward primer, you should go with 20 nucleotides as a reverse primer as well. Okay. So let me write it down. So it is C, C, A, A, T, T, G, C, A, A, T, T, A, T, T, G, 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 T, A, A, G, A, T, G. Okay, yeah. So, okay, so that's three end. So that's a forward. So a TM for the forward, which is, bit, by the way, in this, see what's a TM. We, we're gonna use a four, plus two again, which is essentially, if you don't know, it is, uh, it means if you have a C and G content, nucleotides, you have to times it by four. And if you have positive times two times A, um, T, okay? That's essentially like that, okay? So, having that, it means, let me, so TM would be, then four times how many CGs we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight plus two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. Then that would give you uh, plus two. 58 Celsius, okay? That's our forward primer. So now let's do the reverse primer. Now recall the reverse primer must be, must be written in five prime to three prime, but we know it is written this way. If you want to make it five prime to three prime, because recall this is five prime, right? You have to, because we want to get it in this direction, like in this direction, you have to make it reverse complementary. What do I mean by that? So if it's C here, it would be G. 
if it's A here, it would be T. If it's G, G there, it would be C. Okay, it's like that. If it's T there, it would be A. If it's T there, it would be A. If it's C there, it would be G. If it's T there, it would be A. If it's uh, if it's A there, it would be T. If it's C there, it would be G. If it's A there, it would be T. If it's T there, it would be A. If it's G there, it would be C. If it's T there, it would be A, A, C, T, C, A, T, C, A. Okay, T, C, A. So that's our reverse. So let's again count it. it would be one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that's essentially similar to that, which is would be like that. Fifty-eight Celsius temperature. So now, lastly, it says circles one above circle the first one and the last one. So first circle, the first and last circle. The first one would be this one there, and the last one would be this one there. Okay, so this is the last. This is the first. Okay. Good. And work out that the work out the good annealing temperature. Annealing recall is the one the temperature you want to bring the two double standards together. Okay. So annealing temp. It is usually considered to be Tm minus five Celsius. So here we can say that. 58, 58 minus 5, which would give you what? 53, wouldn't it? So that's our best annealing temperature that we have to program our, um, 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 we have to program our PCR machine to do so. So I hope you guys made this new video beneficial. This is my last video going through a PCR primer and peer design and etc. If you have any suggestion, please ask me. I'm more than happy to do more than happy to do video on and thank you for watching and subscribe.